Good morning or afternoon, depending on your location, tuning in here today. And welcome to the memorial service for Nancy Walsh, this celebration of life in this place, small in this place and large in virtual, with hope and trust that it will be safe for another celebration of her life to happen hopefully soon, to have all of you gathered in person. I am Miriam Samuelson Roberts. I'm one of the pastors at Westwood Lutheran Church, and it has been my great honor to walk with Nancy, especially these last years, and pray with her and talk with her and see her perseverance through great pain. We gather here physically and virtually to honor her life, to grieve her death, and to remember all she was to each of you. If you are tuning in online, there is a bulletin that you can follow underneath the video link, or you can just listen in with us here. We open with a few seconds of silence and a prayer. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you today our sister Nancy. We thank you for giving her to us to know and to love as a companion in our pilgrimage here on earth. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see that death has been swallowed up in the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ so that we may live in confidence and hope until by your call we are gathered to our heavenly home in the company of all your saints. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Our service continues with Panis Angelicus, sung by Nancy's son, Ryan. Oh, 
Deus, servus et humilis. Our reading is from the book of Matthew, and it is the story of the loaves and fishes in honor of Nancy's work with the organization of the same name and in honor of her giving spirit. The piece we just heard from Ryan is titled Panis Angelicus, or The Bread of Angels. And all who knew Nancy know that she gave others the bread of angels in everything she did. Now hear the reading. Now, when Jesus heard this, he withdrew from there in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd and he had compassion for them and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, this is a deserted place and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, they need not go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, we have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and two fish, he looked up to heaven blessed and broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. All ate and were filled, and they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, twelve baskets full. And those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. This is the word of the Lord. Our first eulogy is from Brendan Walsh, and I will be reading it as Brendan and his family join us virtually from Germany today. Mom, I'll love you forever. Thank you for being there every day, for bringing music and compassion into our lives, for encouraging us and showing us how to keep going, no matter how hard the journey for being a steadfast anchor while exploring the world and fulfilling our dreams, for instilling a sense of gratitude and work ethic in all that we do. Thank you for the timeless moments of magic, for thunderstorms on the screen porch, for wind chimes in the morning, for hot chocolate with extra marshmallows and rosy cheeks, for flowers in the spring. Thank you for loving us. I'm so incredibly grateful that you and dad could come to Germany and enjoy time with my growing family, sharing cuddles and laughter with Sophia and William the same way you did with us. Thank you for somehow miraculously holding on for all us boys to come home and be together with you so that I could be there for you and personally tell you all of these things. I'll love you forever. Brendan, with Anne Caroline, Sophia, and William. Hi, I'm Tom. Uh, First, I just want to thank everyone for all the support they have given to our family with cards, phone calls, flowers, food, and for donations in memory of Nancy to Westwood Church and to Community Emergency Service. Nancy and I first met in 1969 at the University of Minnesota Bands Bonfire 
near the end of SPAT camp. She was outgoing, energetic, and fun, just the opposite of me. <laughs> we fell in love, and 26 months later, we were married. Together, we raised four boys, Brendan, Alex, Ryan, and Jason, who had become good and talented men. She loved them all fiercely, and they loved her back. She taught them the values of honesty, hard work, excellence, caring for others, and love. She dearly loved her grandchildren, too, Sophia, William, Jocelyn, and Tristan. As we aged together, Nancy only grew more beautiful in every way. She almost always had a smile, and she lived her life with Grace, which was her mother's name. And she had a deep faith which helped to sustain her. Nancy was a social worker and organizer at heart. She almost always, uh, she was always helping people and was bringing them together. She was a good supportive friend to many. She coordinated family and school reunions, and she was a super volunteer in our kids' schools, at uh, community kitchens and food shelves, including Lowe's and Fishes and CES in Minneapolis. She touched the lives of many people, and they are better for it. She lives on as part of them. But our kids and I are her main beneficiaries. She was the better part of myself. There's a big hole in me that she once filled. And yet, I sometimes feel that she is still here with me. We used to go for walks together through the park, but down by the lake, on a beach. She would always stop to pay attention to the little things. A uh, flower by the path, loons on the lake, shells on the beach. She still walks with me, helping me to pay attention to the little things and to other people. I, I am grateful that I got to love her. Let us pray. Holy God, Holy Spirit, be with us here today as we remember Nancy and commend her to you. We thank you for her life. We thank you for her holy work in this world. We thank you for her spirit that lives on through everyone who surrounds her with love today. Amen. Everyone who knows Nancy knows that she loved to nurture things. She loved to take the seed of something and nurture it and care for it and grow it to see it blossom. This was true on a literal level about Nancy, as you probably all know. She was a talented gardener who could grow seeds and seedlings into beautiful annuals and perennials including her geraniums, hydrangeas, peonies, almost her whole yard, it seemed. And this was also true, metaphorically, about Nancy. She nurtured her family, raising her boys with love and compassion. She nurtured her community, serving at loaves and fishes and CES, and gathering with church friends and serving others in this place for many years. She nurtured friendships. I would often see Nancy talking with others. She would sit right over here, and I'd see her talking with others after services, clearly listening with compassion and care for her friends and for people that she had just met. All of the things that Nancy nourished have grown under her care. And all of the things that Nancy nurtured 
will continue to grow. Martin Luther, who is the forefather of the Lutheran faith tradition, said, even if I knew that tomorrow the world would go to pieces, I would still plant an apple tree. This was Nancy. You could say that the world is in pieces right now, and yet the seeds of compassion and kindness and understanding that Nancy nurtured are here. They are here in this place and they are here in each of you. My words today are short because of our COVID-19 time restrictions, but my love and respect for Nancy is deep. Because that is how she approached everyone she knew, with love and with respect. And I know each of you know that love and respect in different ways and that memories of that love and respect will come up in different ways for each of you. And that care, that love, and that nurturing, I know that we have each been touched by that in knowing Nancy. In this Christian tradition, we talk about resurrection and eternal life, this belief that because Jesus was able to conquer death, so we believe that death does not have the final word for any of us. But we don't just believe this in a metaphorical far off way. We believe that little glimpses of new life and resurrection are always happening here and now. And this is what I believe is true of Nancy, that the seeds of love and compassion she has nurtured in each of you, in all of us, will live on and already do, as Tom so beautifully said, that the spirit of her kindness is alive in this place, here and now, and always will be. Thanks be to God for the life of Nancy Walsh and for all she nurtured and grew in this world. Amen. Our service continues with You Walk With Me, sung by Ryan Walsh. Is it the wind over my shoulder? Is it the wind that I hear gently whispering? Are you alone there in the valley? Quietly 
over the hilltop, down in the valley, never alone, for you walk with me. Over the hilltop, down in the valley, never alone, for you walk with me. Never alone for you walk with me. We close our service with the Lord's Prayer and the commendation of Nancy's spirit. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us commend Nancy to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Nancy, Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. We close our service with our postlude, Yesu Joy of Man's Desiring, and this slideshow that Tom and Ryan so beautifully put together. <laughs>
Now go in peace. Go in peace and plant seeds of love. Thanks be to God. Amen.